Hello everyone. Welcome to Skill Education and Learning Forum. In this video, we are going to discuss classification of engineering materials and their applications. First of all, what is engineering material? Engineering materials are the materials used in every engineer part. It may be plastic or steel. Engineering materials are classified as metals and non-metals. And metals, metals are uh, materials which are having free valence electrons. They are good conductor of heat and electricity. More importantly, they have good mechanical properties. In metals, they are further classified as ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Ferrous metals means they contain iron. Ferrum means iron. So metals that basically contains iron are known as ferrous metals. They are further classified as pig iron, cast iron, wrought iron, carbon steels, alloy steels while non-ferrous metals are the metals which does not contain iron as a base metal they are aluminium and its alloy similarly copper lead tin zinc and their alloys while non-metals are all other materials other than metals all those materials materials fall under non metals they are plastics asbestos rubber wood concrete and ceramics plastics means polymers Let's see the subclassification in next slides. We will discuss in depth composition and applications of each type in separate video. Ferrous metals. Metals that contain the iron basically. In ferrous metal first one is Pig iron. When iron ore is reduced in blast furnace, the very first product we get is pig iron. All other ions are derived from pig iron itself. Cast iron. As the name implies, it is used for casting variety of shapes. It contains higher percentage of carbon around 2 to 4 percent they are further classified as gray cast iron that contains carbon in the form of graphite flakes gray cast iron is more brittle but it is useful in making intricate shape parts Another type of cast iron is white cast iron. It contains carbon in the form of iron carbide. Iron carbide is very hard and hence it is useful for making rolls, dies, etc. Next, wrought iron. It is 99% pure iron. It is tough and used for making nuts and bolts, tubes, sheets, etc. Next, carbon steel. Steels means iron and carbon. Carbon steel contains iron up to 1.5%. The small change in carbon content 
varies mechanical properties of steels drastically. Depending on carbon content, they are classified as low carbon steel, medium carbon steel, high carbon steel. In low carbon steel, carbon percentage varies from 0.05% to 0.3%. In medium carbon steel, carbon content varies from 0.3% to 0.6%. In high carbon steels, carbon percentage varies from 0.6% to almost 1.5%. Low carbon steels are called as mild steels also. They are having variety of applications. They are used in automobiles, structures, civil structures and forging. Medium carbon steels are used in manufacturing of connecting rods, shafts, rails while high carbon steel is used in machine tools hammers making of dies blades drills they are also sometimes known as tool steel alloy steels iron containing carbon are steels. Alloy steels contains alloying element like chromium, nickel, manganese, silicon and sometimes tung tungsten. Alloys basically improves toughness, strength. Some of the popular alloy steels are tool steel and very well known stainless steel. Tool steels are added with alloying elements like tungsten and they are basically used for machining. While stainless steel is most widely used steel in utensils. Due to its non-corrosive nature it contains 15 to 30 percent chromium and some small amount of nickel also. They are also used in industries like dairy and breveries. Non-ferrous metals. When the base metal is other than iron, they are non-ferrous metals. Non-ferrous metals are superior to ferrous metals in corrosive resistance and because of their electric and magnetic properties. First one, aluminum and its alloy. Aluminum has two types of alloy. First one, duralumin, which contains 3% copper and 0.4% manganese. It is used in tubes, bars, sheets, and rivets. While Y alloy has 3.5% copper and 2% nickel and 1.2% manganese. Y alloy is bet, has having better strength and hence it is useful for making parts like pistons. Next, copper and its alloy. Copper is very malleable, ductile and a good conductor of heat and electricity. 
depending upon allying element they are classified as brass tin bronze and aluminum bronze brasses are they generally contain zinc and they are used in making tubes while tin bronze is used in making hydraulic parts aluminum bronze is generally used in making pumps and hydraulic walls next lead and lead alloys lead itself is soft malleable ductile and having very good chemical resistance lead is used in chemical and water pipes the first one lead alloy is what we call as a solder contains lead and tin the second one is white metal next tin and tin alloy tin it is used for coating steels because of it it is having good corrosion resistance the first alloy of tin is bearing metal which contains tin and copper as the name implies these alloys are used in manufacturing bearings next babbit metal it contains copper tin and antimony it contains almost 88% of tin babbit metals are having low coefficient of friction and they are also used in bearings gun metal it contains 10% tin 88% copper and 2% zinc it is also categorized in copper alloy it is used for making guns hence known as gun metal but it is also used in boiler fittings and sometimes making bearings also next bell metal it contains 20% tin and remaining copper it is hard and it is used in making bell because of its sound making property zinc and its alloy zinc itself is used for coating other materials like iron and steel for corrosion resistance it is known as galvanizing zinc alloys first one is brass they contains almost 50% zinc and used in hydraulic piping pumps moons metal it contains 40% zinc and remaining copper and lead moons metal is used in manufacturing of tubes bolts rods electric fuses etc there are thousands of alloys nowadays used in industries which is not possible to cover in a single video for example german silver monel they are also widely used next non metals 
the first one is plastic or polymer which is separate branch of engineering non metals in non metals plastics are also classified into thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics thermosetting plastics are also known as thermosets thermoplastics are reusable and used in making containers pipes made of polyethylene and pvc while thermosets are difficult to reuse and they are polyesters and epoxy resins they are used in making electronic parts and automobile parts next asbestos it is natural silicate material and it is widely used in building materials next rubbers rubbers are classified as natural rubber and synthetic rubber natural rubbers are made from rubber tree itself they are used in automobile and medical parts while synthetic rubber is made by synthesis of petroleum products they are used in making tires gaskets and packings next wood wood which is used from long time for variety of applications it is cheap but we we'll get it after cutting trees next ceramics ceramics are mixtures of metals non metals oxides of silica and aluminum oxides al2o3 ceramics have wide applications in automobile electronic aerospace etc next concrete it is mixture of cement and sand and water which is then hardened it will form very good construction material this is brief classification that's it thank you guys it's nice that you are learning every day if you like this video please press like button and do comment your views if you want to learn more things about engineering and science please subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss new videos do not forget to press bell icon thank you for your support